now we go to total differential. For a differentiable function of two variables, z is equal to f of x, y, the total differential df at the point x, y, which is sometimes denoted as dz, is equal to the partial of f with respect to x times delta x plus the partial of f with respect to y times delta y, where delta x and delta y represent changes in x and y respectively. An important application of total differential is approximation. When delta x and delta y, or the changes in x and y are small, the total differential df approximates the actual change in the function value, or delta f. So let z is equal to f of x, y, and let delta x, which is also equal to the differential of x and delta y, which is equal to the differential of y, represent changes in x and y respectively. Then the total differential of z, which is denoted by dz, is equal to the partial of z with respect to x times the differential of x plus the partial of z with respect to y times the differential of y. We extend this idea to functions of three variables. Let w be equal to f of x, y, z, and let delta x, which is also equal to the differential of x, delta y, which is also equal to the differential of y, and delta z, which is also equal to the differential of z, represent changes in x, y, and z respectively. Then the total differential of w, denoted as dw, is equal to the partial of w with respect to x times the differential of x plus the partial of w with respect to y times differential of y plus the partial of w with respect to z times the differential of z. Please remember these equations. Now let's have an example. An open box is to have an inside dimension of 10 inches, 5 inches, and 4 inches, and thickness of 0 0.5 inch. Approximate using total differential the volume of the material to be used in constructing the box. So illustrating, we have a box. with thickness 0 0.5. Here we need to approximate the volume of the material to be used. Sort of, we want to approximate the change in the volume of the box, or delta V. Again, here we are concerned with the volume of the material to be used in constructing the box. So we will need the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism. The formula that we need is volume is equal to length times width times height. And from the given, we have length is equal to 10, W is equal to 5, W is the width of the box, and height of the box is 4. Also, the thickness of the box is 0 0.5. Again, we have this illustration. Remember that to approximate the change in volume, we will solve for the total differential of V because the change in the volume is approximately equal to the total differential of V. And notice that if the thickness of the box is 0 0.5, then the change in height is also 0 0.5, while the change in length and width is 1. So we have delta L is equal to 1, delta W 
is equal to 1, delta H is equal to 0 0.5. Our working equation is V is equal to length times width times height. And again, we need to solve for the total differential of V because the change in volume is approximately equal to this one. And these are the values that we need. L is 10, W is 5, and H is 4. Solving for dV or the total differential of V, we have dV is equal to the partial of V with respect to L times the differential of L or the change in the length of the box plus the partial of V with respect to W times the change in the width plus partial of V with respect to H times the differential of H. And solving for the partial of V with respect to L, again, we will treat W and H as constants. So we have partial of V with respect to L equal to WH times DL. Now, for the partial of V with respect to W, we will treat L and H as constants. So the partial of V with respect to W is equal to LH times DW plus the partial of V with respect to H. Here we will treat L and W as constants. So we have partial of V with respect to H equal to L times W times the differential of H. Substituting the values, we have 5 times 4 times the differential of L, that is 1, plus the length of the box is 10, the height of the box is 4, times the change in width, that is 1, plus the length of the box is 10, the width of the box is 5, and the change in height is 0 0.5. And this is equal to 85. Thus, the volume of the material is approximately 85 cubic inches. And that is the end of our discussion for total differential. Hello, Math on the Adventure. To check out more lecture videos, click here. And to supplement your learning, don't forget to answer the exercises which you can find in the description box below. Enjoy and stay safe!